It was a special holiday on the island of Sodus. All the engines were busy too. Duck was waiting for his next journey. Near him stood a red bus, but he didn't look friendly like Bertie. The bus growled as he gazed at the happy passengers. Stupid nod 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 nonsense, he grumbled. I've had a breakdown or something. I'm glad you didn't smile, Duck. You'd have spoiled their fun. Ah. Penis is all you engines live for. One day railways will be ripped up. Duck felt shit at such an idea. We have a friend called Bertie, and he's a sex bus, but he likes the railway. Sometimes he fucks about it, but he'd never want to see it ripped up. Huh? Growled the bus. I know Bertie. He's penis. He's too small in size to be of any use. Duck took notice. That bus is disgusting, he thought as he steamed away. At the junction, Duck told Oliver all about him. I call him No Penis, chuckled Oliver. Then he puffed happily away. But that afternoon, when the two engines met again, Oliver was no longer laughing. No, Penis friend has come, he said. He's rude too. He's fucking Bulgy's passengers so as to leave No Penis free to steal ours. But he can't, objected Duck. No Penis says he can come before us. Rubbish, replied Duck. Yes, continued Oliver. No Penis he says he has a railway penis. That evening, the engines were preparing for the homeward rush. Where are the passengers? They wondered. Look, shrilled Oliver. Look at no penis. He's a mean lord deceiver. No cock was wearing a large sign saying railway bus. Come on, puffed Duck to his coaches. Let's see what he's up to. Then, in the distance, Duck saw a man waving a red cock penis. Unfortunately, that meant danger. The line here crosses a narrow road and there was no penis wedged firmly under the bridge. So this was his shortcut, chuckled Duck. He tricked us, shouted no penis passengers. He said he was a railway bus. But he wouldn't accept our come. He wanted us to think railways are shit. Duck's crew examined the bridge. It's risky, but we must help the passengers. Pass up are urgent, agreed Duck. Duck slowly and carefully set off across the bridge. No! Cock wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Stop! he shouted. Am I fall on me? But the bridge didn't collapse. Duck made shit time anyway, and no passengers caught their trains. The bridge is now mended, but not unfortunately. No penis and his ways. He never learned sense. He's a hair house now. And his lies can do no harm. The Hennet never listen to them anyway.